The RJC Quds Force is Iran's primary military actor in the Middle East. It competes with countries like the United States by training, advising, and equipping sub-state forces, including Shia militias in Iraq, Hezbollah in Lebanon. In this image, we see a training facility on the eastern border of Lebanon. We see a small little valley that goes down. This has a series of berms that are alternating. One's on the left, the next one's on the right. And what this is is a training course for armored personnel carriers. Iran's goal with a base like the one in Lebanon is to improve the capabilities of its local allies. Uh, it also has them in Iran itself, where it can bring individuals from all of these locations. This image is of the Imam Ali training facility in Iran. It's just on the outskirts of Tehran. It was a small facility until about 2008. And it's now much larger, much more comprehensive, much more capable. As a whole, is training personnel to operate in guerrilla warfare, irregular warfare type uh, scenarios. There are firing ranges. And what happens is recruits or trainees come in and they'll try to run through the course shooting at targets that are placed in various locations. Uh, this is very important when you're doing urban fighting. Every offensive cost each side an average of 15,000 dead. One of the things that Iran recognized in the 1980s in its war with Iraq is that Iran was never going to be a major conventional power. Between 2011 and 2019, we see a lot more Shia militia and other fighters that work with the IRGC Quds Force in Yemen, in Syria, in Iraq, in Lebanon, in Afghanistan, Pakistan, Bahrain. The reason Iran has more training facilities is it's got more fighters to train. 